let's take Hex. Everybody thinks Hex is a scam, right? Here we go. If you thought Hex was a scam, you could have sold it on the first time it doubled, the second time it doubled, the third time, fourth time, fifth time, sixth time, seventh time, eighth time, ninth time, tenth time, eleventh time, twelfth time, or thirteenth time it doubled in two years. Mm -hmm. Even if it was a scam, even if it was the worst thing in the world, you could have sold it on a double thirteen times so far. Now, that sounds like a lot. Hex is up 8,000 X. Guess how much X Bitcoin is up? 6.5 million X from a penny. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you try, <laughs> it's the highest performing asset class that's ever existed in the history of the world. Yeah. You are better off figuring this out than doing anything else you're doing in your entire life in regards to money. Because mm. you could make more money with this than anything else you've ever dreamt of in the history of, of society. Like people talk about the tulip bubble. Bitcoin went higher than that. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing about the tulip bubble. Did it come back? No. How many times has Bitcoin crashed? 85%. Three or four times? Multiple times. Keeps yeah. coming back and making new all-time highs. Mm. That doesn't sound like any bubble I've heard of. That sounds like a world-changing innovation that just oscillates and keeps landing higher than it previously was. So even if it was the biggest scam in the world, which it's not. So, so where does the government's money come from? They print it out of thin air. Mm -hmm. where, does, where does Bitcoin come from? They print it out of thin air. Where does Hex come from? Print it out of thin air. Where does your, where does your yield come from in Apple stock? Selling it to the next guy. Wait a second. Hold on. They sell phones. Oh, yeah? Let's track that money real quick. You buy an iPhone. Apple company gets the money. Show me how that money gets to the shareholders. There's only two ways. Stock buybacks, which requires you to sell your stock, mm -hmm. or dividends. And what percentage of those gains people are showing in stocks is dividends? This much. It's all the next guy buying. Yep. So your yield in the stock market is from them printing money and in inflation, and that money's got to go somewhere. Your yield in the bank is the same way. Remember how I told you it was some tricks no one's going to tell you about? Mm -hmm. Here's another trick. When you put your money in the bank, they don't lend it. Everybody thinks they lend it, and that's where the interest comes from. Nope, that's not how it works. When you put your money in the bank, it sits there as a reserve, and then they go get leveraged up and get 10 times that money from the government for free, and they lend that money out. And then they make 10 times as much interest as they would have made lending your little bit of money out. So when you give your money to the bank, it's not an asset, it's a liability to them. They owe it to you. So, the, so where does your yield come from in a bank? Inflated money the government gave them for free. It's all inflation. Mm. So, it, so cryptocurrency and hex in particular allows you to become the bank, you to become the Fed. You mint your own rewards just like a Bitcoin miner does, but you don't have to destroy the environment to do it. Bitcoin destroys the environment a fair bit. Mm -hmm. Now, look, maybe 80% of it's renewable, but 20% of it's not. And the amount of energy that is used to protect that network is proportional to the value of the network. So it destroys the environment a lot. So you're acting for pros and cons. Here are some cons. The more valuable Bitcoin becomes, the more of the environment it will destroy. Period. Period. And what if you could do the same things Bitcoin does and get a consensus network that you can know what is true? That's what proof of stake does. Pulsechain.com removes that proof of work component and allows you to have a valid consensus network to build things on and you don't got to destroy the environment anymore. It's also the world's biggest airdrop. If anybody that's got Ethereum coins is going to get a free copy of all of their coins on the Pulse chain. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of free coins and a lot of free pairs. There's going to be a lot of websites that got a lot of work to do listing 10,000 new pairs and 10,000 new prices. It's, mm -hmm. it's world changing, really world changing.